Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. It's me, Chef Tarun, and I'm back to take you into world of flavors. Many people ask me, Chef, can we make something unique for appetizers, which is different from our usual dishes? And my answer to this, of course we can, and why not? Today, I'm going to show you a dish which has got an interesting twist to a dessert. Baklava, as you all know, it's Turkish dessert, which is made with sugar, nuts, and honey. But today, I'm going to do a savory version of it. This is the version which you don't see it anywhere. And this is going to be a mushroom baklava, a savory version of baklava. So let's check out the ingredient. So we have fresh white mushrooms, phyllo sheets, fresh onion, fresh garlic, melted butter, parmesan cheese, oregano, salt, black pepper, fresh milk and olive oil. Let's start cooking. So we'll start with onion. We are going to fine chop it. So we have taken about one full onion, fine chop. Now we'll take white mushrooms and mushrooms also we need to fine chop it. So in the recipe, I'm using about 250 grams of mushrooms. So this is your chopped mushrooms, ready? So now let's start cooking. So we'll take olive oil, take around two tablespoon. While olive oil is getting hot, let's take four cloves of garlic. So now oil is hot. Let's take our crushed garlic into the pan, chopped onions and the aroma is so good. It has got nice little brownish color and this is the perfect time where we throw in some mushrooms. So roughly chopped white mushrooms. So whenever we are cooking mushroom, it has to be on super high heat because mushroom gonna take out all the water and then it's gonna reduce. It's literally gonna reduce into half. It's time to add our seasonings, oregano, one teaspoon, salt, one teaspoon again, black pepper, half a teaspoon. So now mushrooms are almost dry. It's time to add fresh milk. Now this is gonna add some creaminess to our mushroom mixture. So I'm gonna, I'll be using it around two tablespoon. Just cook the mushroom through the milk. And now my favorite part, Parmesan cheese. So you have got around three tablespoons of Parmesan cheese here. So as you can see, our mushroom mixture is completely dry and it is cooked well through. So this is ready. So now we're going to refrigerate this mushroom mixture for one or two hours. So let's take out the mushroom mixture from the refrigerator. So this is completely chilled. And now we're gonna roll the baklava. So we'll start with phyllo sheets. So this is a very important ingredient in baklava. Baklava is incomplete without phyllo sheets. We're gonna take melted butter. With the help of a brush, we're gonna pour it over baklava sheets, the phyllo sheets, and we're going to spread the butter. So there we go, another layer. So butter helps in like glue to sticking the two phyllo sheets together. We take more butter here. So let's bring our friend mushroom back. We gonna spread it here. Spread it all over the phyllo sheets. I think we are done. So let's bring our final layer and stick it completely. 
try and seal the edges. You take all the phyllo sheets and you start rolling as tight as possible. This is your mushroom roll. So mushroom roll is ready. Now we need to keep it into freezer for minimum of one to two hours. And then we are going to bake it. So our mushroom baklava roll is almost frozen. It's time to take it out. Also, I have preheated the tray because we are going to bake our mushroom. Around 200 degrees Celsius. Butter paper. Let's bring the mushroom. So what we are going to do now, we are going to cut the edges. And now, even size of the roll. So this is your mushroom baklava roll. We are going to place it into here. Just arrange it carefully next to each other. We are going to bake them all together. So now it's time to bake. So I'm going to bake it into oven uh, around 200 degrees Celsius for 10 to 12 minutes. And you have to keep an eye if it's turned a little brownish, you have to take it out. So it's 12 minutes on the clock and it's time to take out our mushroom baklava rolls from the oven. Look at this beautiful color. Mushroom baklava rolls. Let's plate them right from the tray. Let's add my favorite cheese. So our mushroom baklava rolls are ready. It's time to pair up with a drink. So I'm gonna make a smoothie. So let's begin the process. Smoothies are just an energizing way to start your day. Since we are already into summers, this chilled smoothie recipe is going to enlighten your day. So let's check out the ingredient. We have fresh kale leaves, fresh banana, toasted mixed seeds, fresh almond chilled milk. So let's begin our blending. We'll start with banana. We are going to take one banana. So let's add this into blender. Fresh kale leaves, taking about five. I'm gonna remove the stems. So just tear them before you put them into blender. Chilled almond milk, about one cup. So I'm not adding any sweetness here. I want the sweetness of this smoothie should come from bananas. So let's blend. So the smoothie is well blended. Let's bring the glass and look at this beautiful green color we got it from kale leaves. So let's pour it into glass. For the garnish, mix it. So take banana. So kale banana smoothie is ready. You know the best part, the magic of this kale leaves doesn't actually taste like kale into the smoothie. Don't get me wrong, kale has its own time and place into the dishes. But when I'm, we are making a smoothie, I'm blending it with banana and almond milk. So it doesn't overpower it, but actually it's very nutritious and healthy. All right, folks, we have mushroom baklava. 
and we have got kale and banana smoothie to pair up with. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Do try out this recipe and let us know in the comments. We'll come back with another exciting recipe. Till then, take care, stay connected. See you.